everybody welcome to my channel if you haven't been here before my name is Rebecca I otherwise go by Solvaluntaria here on the internet world it's my spiritual witch name and I'd like to thank you for joining me today for another witch Wednesday it is right now it is 6 30 in the evening on Sunday January 19th as I am filming this I'm filming this ahead of time so A, I can edit it and get it up on time and B, because I was sitting here thinking about this video and I realized something and so I had to film it. I had to get this filmed now. This video is all about the sun and moon themes in my life and in it I'm also going to show you my altar, my main altar setup that I have, which kind of got this story started. Just recently, as you would have heard in some of my other videos about tarot, I will link up in the cards a couple of those videos, so please go ahead and give those a click and check them out. I recently got, I was given by my husband, the Wild Unknown Animal Spirit deck, and then a few months later, I was in, in December, so like maybe like a month later, I was so in love with this deck that I decided to buy the Wild Unknown uh, Tarot deck. And when I got them, I was sitting down at here at my desk and I went, yes, now is the time that I need to set up my sun and moon altar. I hadn't, um, I hadn't been super feeling my altar set up and I mean to be honest I'm still not doing a lot of altar work yet I'm figuring things out but I really wanted to set up a new altar and I was like oh my god I have these decks they are the light and dark of each other and they're so connected I decided I had to set up my sun and moon deck and when I started to set it up is when I really realized all of these themes now my battery is flashing at me so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna switch over to my phone to show you some of the rest of the stuff. See you in a minute. As soon as I decided it was time to set up my sun and moon altar I started thinking about it and it became very obvious how much sun and moon imagery I have around. Now I realize sun and the sun and moon are huge for a lot of people because they're our two biggest planets um, are our two most well-known planets, most influential. It just feels like there's like extra lessons there for me. So I'm going to show you some of the imagery I just have around and chat to you a bit about it. Okay, these aren't going to be in no specific chronological order here. So one of the first ones we have, just that I'm showing you, this is a drawing I made for myself that I want to get for my first tattoo. I put fire because I am a very huge fire element. There's a ton of it in my birth chart. Sun on one side, moon on the other. So it's just an example of some imagery I have. This next one you'll recognize is my TN cover, which I got a custom TN cover and I designed this. I designed this and I wanted to have the sun and the moon together on the imagery. Also in the notebook department is my current bullet journal book, which has sun moons on it. Now, so far, all of these things are spaced years apart. I got that TN cover in like 2016, 2017. I just got the Citrus Book Bindery because I, I did the unboxing of it. Hi, honey. Uh, when abouts did I draw my first tattoo idea, the sun and moon one? Um, oh, jeez, I don't know. It was a few years ago, like around 2007, 2016, 2017. I thought it was before Cameron was born. Oh, no. I drew that living in the beaches. So, oh, okay. either way, like three, four years ago. Can you, like, duck behind my head for a minute? I can still see you in the camera. I know. So, <laughs> either way, like... <laughs> I might just leave that in. So, either way, 
these are spanned years apart. Now let's show you where I have more of this imagery. Oh wait, but first, my earrings. Okay, you can't be seen, babe, I'm zoomed in. My earrings I have, sun. And fuck, this, this angle's harder to see. Uh, moon. I got, I got those earrings. I got those earrings years ago. Again, sorry, about like three-ish years ago in, at a fair. So, again, years spanned apart. Okay. Up here on my wall, we have one of my paintings. Again, about three years ago, I painted this. So, I wrote air above me, earth below me, fire within me. Of all the imagery I could have used for that, I put the sun and the moon. Now, the most prevalent in imagery of it and where it got really weird is this collection behind me. This is where my altar is. I'm in my bedroom and at the foot of our bed was this little like space that's unused and it's my altar space. So you can see so I'm going to flip you around once more and I'm going to show you and 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 this is where I really start to realize cuz I I found this while I was setting up this very altar setup. Okay. So at the top that mirror again around about the 3 years ago mark I found that mirror randomly at a garage sale. It had a chunk that had fallen out that I glued back in. It was like a dark blackish color. I recently painted it silver. So I found that mirror. And I, I wanted a sun mirror to go with it, but I found like a cheap idea of it, a, a cheap sun symbol mirror from the dollar store. And then about a year ago, I was in Value Village and I found that. And if you look on this sun mirror, it's got freaking moons and stars right on it. So within the sun, there's sun and moon. So I got those mirrors about three years apart or about two years apart. And they ended up here on my sun and moon altar. Down here, we have the animal spirit deck and the Wild and Known deck, which is what spawned me to starting this altar setup. Um, I had thought about doing a sun and moon altar setup a couple, close to a year ago, um, and then I never got around to it. And then when I bought this, and I saw how much it, it reflected that, and I was like, oh my god, it's like the light and the dark, like the moon and the sun, I was like... Okay, now I have to set this up and they can put it on it and it just sparked under me. I've also got this, I've just got this box here, my cauldron. Here, we have a ton of stones. I got all of these moon stones at separate times. One set of them, I got, I believe it was, oh, no, not that one. One set of them, it was this one. It was this one and this sunstone. This was the first time I'd thought to have a sun and moon altar. I got these together in a surprise egg from the New Age store nearby my house, or in my area, that was like, oh, this is, this is sun and moon, and it's about balance. Usually the earrings I'm wearing, I sit here to keep them, like, charged, but I... I really wanted to wear them for this video. So I have a ton of moonstone and some sunstone and some other stones that just represent that sun energy to me. Here's a stained glass piece I made. Um, I just love the image of it, but again, there's that moon image. Over here, I have a selenite moon phase wand that my friend gave me for Christmas a couple years ago or not a couple years ago, it's just over a year. This candle holder was one of, you could say one of my first 
pagan-esque type purchases. Like, I know the sun, moon, and stars isn't purely pagan. It was one of the first things I bought thinking and knowing in this mindset of like, okay, I am a pagan and this is how I identify. I bought this. I repainted it when I painted the mirror because I wanted the color scheme to match better. But I got this at Value Village like, like, fucking, like six years ago. I've got here on my hand, I got this in a Charmed Aroma candle not that long ago. And then on my other hand, this one, the blue one, to me kind of reminds me of like a sun with a moon around it. So you can imagine me a few months ago and I'm putting together this altar and I'm like, oh my God, there's suns and moons around me everywhere. Just everywhere. Even to, um, so the first pagan pendant I ever had that I wore, besides stones, I've been wearing stones for years. Uh, the first pagan pendant I had was the triple goddess um, with the, the pentagram, pentacle, I can't remember off the, that in the middle with crescent moons on the outside. And I wore that until the chain broke and the thing like got degraded. And, and then I had a new one. I tried to get one. It was a star with a crescent moon, but it kept like accidentally injuring my kid because it was made of pewter and the edges were kind of sharp and it dangled. So when I lean forward and stand back up, it would get them. So I stopped wearing that. And I, I felt like I didn't have the right, the right um, pendant and symbol. And then I found this guy about just over a year ago. And as you can see, there's a sun on the top, or if you can't see, there's a sun right there on the top and the pentacle. So it's got that. And then the moon's on the side. So I'm just, I'm standing here and I'm like, I've got all this all this just sun and moon imagery all around me it's huge like I know again like I said I know the sun and moon are huge and like everyone's life but I'm like I have all these items on my altar that I accumulated over years and that just ended up going together and then so I'm into my depth here as you might have seen if you watched that video which you can check out up above and one of the first discoveries of it, which you'll hear a bit more about in my update coming up at the end of the month, or at the beginning of February, is studying astrology. I started studying astrology watching Samantha Menzo's channel. I'll link her too. And I looked at my chart. And like I just finished doing this, I looked at my chart. And my at first I discovered that my sun and my moon are in uh, opposite houses. So my sun is in the ninth house and my moon is in the third house. So the ninth house is of Sagittarius and the third house is of Gemini. And they are, they are polarities, they are opposites. And then I'm looking at it, I just restarted going through Samantha Menzo's videos, um, making more detailed notes. And my sun is in Aries. I'm in Aries. And my moon is in Libra. And Libra, I'd forgotten when I first made the video, Libra and Aries are also a polarity, an opposite. And Libra is all about balancing. And I'm like, like, it just, it feels so much like this huge, weird, just universal dun dun duh and i don't mean dun 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 i mean dun dun duh like hello what rock have you been living under that you haven't noticed this before and that's why i decided i had to film now because i'm like i've got my sun and my moon two naturally opposite planets in two separate polarities two separate oppositions if I'm misremembering the language, polarity opposition, please feel free to let me know in the comments down below. 
I've got them in two separate balancings and polarities and oppositions in my chart. My sun and my moon are, are opposite each other like three billion fold, it feels like. Like they're opposite because one's the sun and one's the moon. They're opposite because one's in the ninth house and one's in the third. They're opposite because one's in Aries and one's in Libra. And oh wait, Libra's all about balance and I suck at balance. It's, it's just so weird. I, I mean, obviously there's a message of balance in there and I just like, I'm just feeling a bit flabbergasted right now. So I thought I would share and yeah, that's, I really got nothing else I can say on the topic. It's just, it's just weird. So there you go. This is my Witch Wednesday, a random rant and about just weirdness. I'll let you know if anything further develops about it. I really hope you enjoyed this random video and you got to take a peek at my beautiful altar setup. And if you have any comments or questions, leave them down below in the comment section because duh. And I will be back on Saturday with my bullet journal setup video for the month of February. That's the plan. Yeah. If you'd like to see where I am on other social media platforms, you can find all that information down below in the comment section, down below in the description bar. And that's really all I got for you today. What do you think of this weirdness? Have you had any weird things like this? I'd, I'd love to hear about it. Let me know in the comments down below. Please don't forget to like this video and subscribe. And I will see you another time. Love and light always. Bye.